Welcome back to the channel. Today I have the NPC Key 61 in front of me, and I thought I would do a first impression style video while making a beat with the NPC Key 61. So let's get to it. Now, I have actually made a couple beats already, so it's not completely 100% brand new. And I'm also very familiar with the NPC One and the NPC Live too. I also took the time to install the Mini D plugin and the Air Flavor Pro plugin, and I also installed my own expansion packs into the board as well. So, so this is a brand new project, how it loads up. Gives you a Fabric XL uh, type of sound that shows up right away. And what I notice also, it loads four plugins right away. So track one, two, three, and four, as you can see, are all the Awakening Fabric, um, or actually Fabric XL is the first one, and then Fabric, Fabric, Fabric. So actually kind of interesting that it sets it up as uh, preloaded with the stuff to get, get you going. On the other NPCs, you have to set up a template to make it automatically load type of things into your project right away. So anyways, it's just, just a little nicety that I, Saw right there. I also like the sounds button. Nice having that on there. Actually, something that I should mention is that the overall layout is nice. I didn't actually expect it to be as nice feeling as I thought it was going to be because, uh, you know, NPC One's great. Use it all the time. NPC Live is fantastic. We That's Meme's main driver. She basically makes a beat every day on that box. So they're both fantastic NPCs. So I didn't expect the NPC Key 61 to have a certain uh, glow about it. And maybe it's because it's new, but it feels really nice. It feels premium uh, and all the buttons feel different, feel more clickety, more tactile. Uh, also the touch strip, we'll get to that more as I make a beat. Uh, that, that thing's fantastic as well. So let's go, I, I always like the mini D, so I'm just gonna grab the mini D here. And I honestly have no idea what I'm gonna make. So I'm just gonna check out some sounds real quick. Do this. I always end up playing in like C minor. Maybe something like that. I don't know. The key bed is pretty good. Since this is a first impressions, I, I definitely want to talk about how the keys actually feel because obviously it's a big selling feature. This has technically become a keyboard workstation. I think the keys are good. I don't think they're great and I definitely don't think they're bad by any means, but uh, I think they're kind of like a little bit above average. I've played some really nice Fatar style key beds that are synth action. I don't think the Key 61 has really nice keys. I, like I said, I think it's good keys. They will definitely work. They get the job done. They're also a little bit shorter too. Like I think a regular keys are about that long. They took off about a half inch to three quarters of an inch off the length, which is fine, whatever on that, you know? But I did find it a little strange. I was like, oh, these keys are shorter. <laughs> little, little stubbies, you know? Anyways, back to the beat. So uh, we were doing something like this. Yeah, let's do that. Another thing that the template does when you first load is automatically put it into four bars. I appreciate that. Since I know it's already four bars, I'm going to hit record and play from the start. Oh, you know what? I should take off the time correction. Where do I do that on here? Time and correct. I double tap to time and correct. Since I'm, I'm going to be like um, kind of rolling my chords, I don't want them to all be dead in uh, dead aligned, you know? So erase this track. Yes. Record. The beginning part was a little off. Oh, I see what happened. It's cut. It just lined everything up right there. That's okay. Oh, actually, here's what we'll do. I'll grab these, nudge these over. Grab this one, nudge that over a bit. Yeah, maybe that'll be better. That works. Okay, so we got first sound laying down harmony and some uh, some kind of synth texture going on. I'm gonna hit sounds again. Uh, let's see, maybe we'll go strings this time. Orchestral? What's well, serious? Something that I've noticed with this machine specifically, well, actually two things. So the touchscreen feels very responsive. The other touchscreens are, um, again, they're not bad, but I've noticed there's like weird, like it doesn't register touches all the time when I'm doing like the keybed or or like the the um, the QWERTY keyboard on the screen. So there's times where the NPC one, I'm like, I have to double tap things, be like, what's going on, you know? Whereas I haven't noticed that at all on this screen. So uh, maybe the hardware was upgraded with 
you know, like the actual screen technology or something like that. Or maybe I just have a bad batch for my NPC one and the live and all that. I, I really don't know. The other thing too is the, the sounds seem to load much faster. Although I have been loading the sounds on the other boxes on SD cards. So clearly those are slower. One thing that people were talking about was it takes a long time to load sounds for it being like a keyboard workstation. And yeah, there's a bit more time with this, but it's actually pretty fast. So I was kind of surprised. I was like, oh, actually it loads up pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah, I might just like hold the cord. Something like that. Actually, well, here's what we do. We're gonna double up the track length. So we want at least eight bars for this. And then we're gonna try this. So we got a little texture going on there. I'm actually going to throw some extra reverb on top of this air reverb, put it in a cathedral like so, and then we'll turn this down. Maybe like, yeah. Ooh, also I'm going to use uh, one of our new samples from the ambient phrases vocal pack. So let's do that. I'm gonna double click menu. I'm already in expansions right here. Let's scroll down to there. And I'm gonna use the vowel key groups here. Yeah, do some ooze. Okay. Main key group right there. So I'm going to edit this, I'm going to make the attack much longer. Oops. Let's see. Probably start naming these. Ooze. See, the key keyboard feels way better. I don't know what it is. Like, is it legitimately a better screen? Have they did they actually upgrade that hardware? Because I thought the only thing that was upgraded was the RAM, and obviously a, a keyboard was added to it and all that stuff. But I thought the the hardware itself was pretty similar to like an MPC One or an MPC Live. But this feels better. So I don't know. Strings. Like I can be quick with it. <laughs> I couldn't do that before. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Let's see, we got... I'm gonna throw Airflavor Pro on the, the pluck. Let's go here. Airflavor Pro. Now this is a paid plugin, obviously. If, you, if you're not aware, it's a paid plugin. Uh, oh, you know what, I wanna solo this. Is there a solo on here? Maybe there is, maybe there is, I'm not sure. Solo, please. Okay. Game. One thing that I really like doing with the Airflator Pro is making the pitch stereo. So it kind of creates like this chorus effect, but not really a chorus. It's kind of a chorus. It's like a lo-fi chorus. Yeah, I like doing that. Almost always take down these crackles or clicks and pops. Put the crackles up a little bit. And then take down the noise. Like so. You can also do the distort or the digital effects here. These are kind of nice actually. Does a pretty good job destroying it. I'm actually gonna put a compressor on there as well. Maybe trains it. So I take the attack down. 
Yeah, I wanted to just feel different. And then I'm going to uh, throw some reverb on there. Additionally, actually we'll do the differential delay. Or diffusion delay, not differential. <laughs> You only have up to eight total plugins in uh, this board or any of the NPCs unless you have it loaded up on the software in the computer, in which case you can have unlimited. But that is one of the limitations, but it's actually pretty in line with other keyboard workstations. I mean, some of them are 16 different elements, others are only eight. But in addition to the actual plugins, you can have unlimited um, audio, should I say, audio key groups? <laughs> Sampled key groups is what it is. Basically, you can, you can have unlimited those as long as you can put them in the memory. So that is, that's pretty cool. There's like differences between workstations. That's gonna be a video in the future, actually. So if you're interested in, uh, in more of this content, but also maybe some comparisons to some keyboard workstations, subscribe, because that will be happening sometime soon-ish. Been kind of going on a, like a keyboard workstation adventure. Picked up a Phantom, picked up a Modi X Plus, so. Stay tuned. All right, what to do next? I think I'm feeling some piano right here, or at least to try it. Let's see. So if we did stage piano, uh, actually, let's try the atmosphere. Oh, actually, that one didn't tap. Feels pretty good, actually. Heavily processed. Yeah, this could work. Although I might want to lay some piano down after the drums. So let's name this piano. It's my sustain pedal. Feels good, honestly. Feels pretty good. Yeah, let's get some drums. I'm gonna go to maybe number nine for drums. Yeah, we'll do that and then find something. Actually, I'm gonna load this. There's a lot of good, uh, good flavors in there. Okay. So the pads. You might be wondering how the pads feel. Pads feel good. They are basically the NPC one pads. So if you liked those pads, then you're in luck. You'll like these pads. If you did not like the NPC one pads, then Unfortunately, you're not gonna like these pads. So. I'm just gonna try something, see what happens. track for the hats. I'm gonna roll with these. So I'm gonna use the uh, arpeggio no, or the note repeat on this. I'm gonna double tap note repeat for latch. And right, I have to turn on timing correct. Actually, I didn't realize that I turned timing correct completely off. I thought it was still on the 50 strength. So my bad. Anyways. So I'm gonna go eighth notes initially. 
So the touch strip, this thing is actually really cool. I didn't expect it to be as cool as it actually is. I'm looking forward to more touch strips landing into future boxes. Like an NPC one with the touch strip would actually be pretty dope. Uh, right now I'm in that arpeggio note repeat mode, but now I can quickly grab a, uh, or slide through the, the timing. really cool. So let's uh, grab something. Feeling that? So I'm going to take off note repeat. That's what I'm talking about. Well, this would be a good one to throw in there. Every now and then, let me get this. Take my timing correction off. Actually, this time I am going to drop the strength and work with it that way. Also, sixteenths, please. And a new track for this as well. Okay, so the drums, I think, are feeling pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna throw Air Flavor Pro onto them for more vibe. I didn't realize it comes preloaded with a bunch of stuff on here. Well, I'm gonna delete this one and get Air Flavor Pro. Thank you. Same thing, I'm gonna do the pitch thing, or I make it stereo, increase the drift a bit. It actually works out really well for drums, for vibiness. Not so much for if you want the drums to hit super hard, but really good for just pure vibe. For the vinyl sound, I always increase the release of the drums. That way, it can like take more time to have the crackle in there. And throw a digital effect in here as well. Okay, that's pretty vibey. Feeling that. So our 9 through 12 row right here is all the drums, uh, which is cool. We need a bass, obviously. Let's get a bass. Oh, and also the piano. So maybe we'll do bass first, and then throw the piano on at the end, and that'll be our beat. Okay, so sounds. Now obviously, mini D is where it's at for that, so I'm gonna... Pretty much, if I don't have an actual model D mini Moog style thing, synth hooked up next to me, I'm going to use the MIDI-D in the MPC because it sounds great. So, and if you want a full review of it, I actually did it when they first came out. Uh, 
Thank you to Akai for sending me an early access copy. Did a review on that. It's actually on the Tiffany Memes channel. So if you want to check that out, I'll drop a link below. Uh, this is a new channel. We're putting all of our technical music tech related tutorial type of stuff on this channel now. So if you're interested in music technology type of videos, then this is the channel. Subscribe, but only if you're actually interested in that stuff. Let's see. I don't know exactly what. Yeah, in fact, I probably have to increase the volume of this just a bit or six dB. <laughs> First try. Let's say I call this bass. Let's go back to the keys. I'm gonna double this now. So we have 16 bars, and I'm just gonna riff on top. Oh wait, forgot. I have to take time correction off because it will definitely mess with my recordings. that about does it. This keyboard is very fun. By the way, I didn't mention it earlier, but if you were interested in picking up a uh, MPC Key 61 or any like MPC products or just music here in general, if you use our affiliate links, then it greatly helps out the channel. We specifically use Zounds. Zounds is our go-to. We've been using them for years. Uh, and we've also been using their no credit plans for years as well. So when we order, we use Zounds. We're also an affiliate as well. So it helps out the channel if you use our links and pick up stuff from Zounds. So just throwing that out there if you are in the market. But yeah, I'm excited to make more content about the MPC Key 61. I will do a full review at some point in the future once I've had more time with it. Uh, I had some hiccups loading up the uh, Airflavor Pro and the Mini D, some licensing issues, and that was really annoying. But I'll save that for an actual review because uh, I did get it working. So there's that. But, you know. Save that, save that for the pros and cons of the uh, review side of things for the platform. But overall, I'm really impressed with what Akai has done so far with the Key 61. It feels pretty premium, honestly. The key bed, like I said, could feel a bit better, like just a little bit. But overall, it's a very premium feeling uh, workstation. And it's honestly one of the best if you are looking for actual sequencing hardware needs. Because like I said, I've, I've been going through a bit of a deep dive into other workstations. and the MPC really does have one of the best hardware sequencers out there. 
Anyways, if you want more info and more discussions about this stuff in your feed on YouTube, then hit the subscribe button. A like and a comment below would be greatly appreciated as well. Uh, let me know if you picked up the NPC Key 61, how you're vibing with it. Maybe you sold it, maybe you had problems, all that. I know when it first launched, there was a bunch of bugs and issues. So maybe me doing a, a, a nine months later type of first impressions is better <laughs> because I'm not experiencing as many bugs. So that's the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. Thank you.